so hello friends and welcome back to another awesome video in this video we are continuing our flutter series means for flutter with python series sorry which is a fleet series we can see uh, so what is fleet fleet is a module which is made available in python which makes us to use flutter uh, with to develop cross cross platform and much better guis so it's really really very helpful so we will continue it and i will bring soon many videos and some projects on it so in today's video it's the second video this is the first video in which i have explained what is the fleet and how we can use it how we can install and how we can create a text label and create our first app so in this video we are going to learn that how we can um i mean create a text input and a button as well so let's see how we can do that it's also really really easy so if you are new to my channel then please make sure to subscribe by clicking the white now sometimes it's red and white also now it's white click on the white subscribe button and then click on all so that you will never miss my upcoming videos on this series or any other videos and you will get many of my um, videos which are really really helpful for you if you are from a techie background so so let's get started with the video after a small intro so here we are in our pycharm you can use any other directory if you want so first you need to import the fleet import fleet this tutorial is going to be fast as we need to come cover many topics in this um, whole playlist or series so first we need to import fleet as ft and then you can also import a fleet only then first of all we'll just define the main structure which is diff main define main then page semicolon which is um ft dot page this is our first work and you can see our main function is created here what i will do is i need a text uh, input so i will give here like first i'll keep it create a variable suppose input and then i will give it like ft dot text input text field sorry text field and see so now if i will run just a second let me just complete the app we will complete the app by giving like okay so here is the main function actually i had forgotten this so ft dot app which will be target and the target will be the main function so the app uh, structure basic structure has been completed so now if we'll if we will run we'll get nothing so first of all we'll have to give page dot add then i will give like this and then i will give input that what should uh, the page have so you can see now input is highlighted as the input is in use so let me run it so if i run it um, without uh, adding it to the page you will see the blank page with a continuous loader so you can see we have created an input so you can see this is the input you can customize the border color as it's not visible pretty not visible so you can see i can type here anything i want so this is how we can create a text input its text input is much more better than taking to like this so okay so we have done with it now here are two things like let us change the border color border color and the border color we will give like uh, ft dot colors dot now you can see there are many colors i would like to choose amber amber 300 is fine now let's run it again now you will see change in the border color you can see it's a type of gold is color see now now it's visible and looks much more better so i will keep it like this only now like if we are creating a login app or any app so we need to give some uh, hint to the user that what is this input to fill for so we can give an uh, placeholder here by giving hint in text and in the hint text we can give here like your name 
enter your name okay so now if i'll run you can see what happens in the hint because it's nothing like the placeholder in html so you can see i will type here abhinav so it's just simply taking nothing else but there is a difference if you will use label here you can see you can see if it is a difference if you will use label here and our text or uh, hint here you can see if i click boom this is really awesome this is like um, such if i say like google login um, input looks like that the label is personally my perfect uh, favorite one you can see like this and if i will create nothing will happen and if i erase the data and click anywhere so it happens like this so that's really really cool um that's it you can also explore more features in text clips um now i would like to uh, create a button so i will give a button okay button is equal to and i would like to say that there are many kinds of button in fleet which is really really awesome we don't need to create uh, many much buttons uh, there are already many apps available which we can uh, sorry many styles available which we can customize further so if we go here to fleet dot dev okay so i will just uh, open a new tab and here i will type types of button fleet dot dev you will get the first link here like buttons um, column fleet so you can see how many types of buttons are there evaluate ev evaluated button build button then filled tonal button then outline button icon button floating action button you will get everything here so in this video we are just uh, going to use this evaluated button for instance we are going to use this evaluated button so you can uh, do another thing if you type your disabled button sorry disabled true then e the button can also be disabled here this is the evaluated button so let's um, just copy this evaluated button code and then i will just paste yeah we have done okay you can see here i have not added this inside the page dot add and it's disabled if i will run what will happen what do you guess you are right it's not going to be added in the gui so to add any component in the gui we need to give inside page dot add okay so we'll separate it with comma and we'll give a button now if you run then the button will be there boom you can see here it's an evaluated button created over here you can increase its uh, decreases border radius increase its font size etc etc you can work with it so i will click here like click me <laughs> which is a basic text and i will give you like color is equal to ft dot colors colors dot amber 300 ohm gain let's see what's the change does it take or not oh you can see the button looks very cute and good so you can see how we have created a text put text input and button so this is how you can create a text input and button i hope you like this tutorial see you in the next tutorial till then take care bye bye and the further tutorials are also coming soon